Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. Now I'm gonna rent a room quickly because I need my stash. Copy. Just hey. Come on, man, move! What the hell? Be a bit more careful. Okay, I wanna take this hammer, this sword. And this dagger. And I also want to take this bow. Because I can wield all of that. a dagger because dagger in this game kinda has a hidden mechanic. With it, you can take off people's ears. For example, human ears. And we're gonna get lots of ears. Now I need a swordsmith or weaponsmith. God be with you. Okay, now let's see where should we go and what should we do? I can't do this quest because I can't open the hard locks. So, what should we do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go all the way up to Ujits. This horse is gonna kill me one day. Hey, it's our friends!
nice, another boar hunting spot. Nice, that's good to know. A cut down tree. Where's that ambush? <laughs> there they are. You looking for me? Come at me, bro. Eric, how do you Hello, Dom. Hello, Dom. No, you are not gonna run away. Now if I could only find that other guy...
and why is my Henry bugged? What level is my maintenance? Level 10. Okay, now let's go and do something special in the bathhouse. Good health to you, Henry. I'd like to make... So... May the Lord watch over you. I've, uh, heard you have nice girls here. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Watch over you, Henry. Hey! And we refreshed our alpha male buff. Nice.
I checked and it seems everything is in order. All right. But buy a couple of kegs of wine when you've done your other chores. Make sure it's good. No slop. You can count on me, sir. Bandit camp. Okay, so we explored this town. Now let's go sell all our stuff. God save you. Let's talk about the pro- Hmm. Agree? That's a- Alright. And there he is, the best NPC in the game. Now why is he stuck? Come on dude, do your moves.
Father, didn't I see you outside practicing swordplay? I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practiced with a stick. A reminder of my youth and days gone by, and it helps keep me in good form. Do you have any work that needs doing? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. Another pair of shoulders would ease my burden. I have to deal with a local witch. A witch? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag who will stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Oh, don't tell me. The cows are giving blood instead of milk, and babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil. She just has peculiar ideas about what's good for people. A little bird told me she incited some Ujets women to witchery. And what's the problem? As long as herb women stick to giving psychic to folk and bloated cows, assisting in childbirth or burning incense in bedrooms to help with sleep, then nothing at all. But this, this is sacrilege, and it's unsafe. All sorts of molds and lichens and poisonous plants and other foul things go into those concoctions. I'd hate to see her poison some poor gullible lass. What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church, so tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witchcraft. If you learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, find out all you can and deal with it. Consider it done. Good. And never fear. I'm a man who always pays his debts. You'll find Gertrude, the old herb woman, in the woods. Good day to you. What do you need? Is there someone here who can compete with me in archery? Sure. There's always arrows flying here. How good are you with a bow? Bandits and cumans and some prisoners.
Now how did he dismount me? Okay, see you back at this spot. Okay, here I am back at this spot. Now this time there is no one here. It looks like they got scared and ran away. Because I almost killed them last time. Yeah, they knew what was coming to them. I've come from the priest. They're saying you incited some women to witchcraft. Me? Witchcraft? That's nothing but idle chatter. Don't you know that witches get burned alive? There's no need for trouble. I'll tell you everything. I've done a very foolish thing. It's preying on my mind so much I can't sleep a wink. But I'm supposed to believe an old witch has pangs of conscience. Laugh if you like, but it's not a word of a lie. You probably know I sell various magic lotions and potions alongside my herbs. Well, there's one I wish I hadn't sold. You see, Vera, Zlata, and Kuta from Urzitz wanted a magic ointment from me. I kept refusing them, but in the end I let them talk me into it. What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. A place of wonder and terror. The flowers might start talking to you, or the earth could swallow you up. I don't know if it's the work of the devil or of God himself, but the ointment has that power. But it could poison any person who doesn't know how to use it right. So all this talk of witches anointing themselves and then flying to their sabbaths on broomsticks. The ointment could make a person see such things. But it was stupid of me letting those foolish women get their hands on it. They could poison themselves or fall off a cliff while they're lost in a dream. Will you give me the ointment recipe? It contains belladonna and the herb Paris, both quite poisonous plants. That ought to make you think twice about dabbling with it. So why did you give them the ointment at all? Because I'm soft-hearted. You see, one of those women, Vera, lost her whole family in Skalix. And Zlata's husband was killed. And the youngest of them, Kuta, miscarried with the horror of it all. They said they wanted to use the ointment to speak with the dead and ask them to put a word in with the Lord. Yeah. I understand how they feel. But I reckon it'll get them nowhere but the ducking stool and the stake. Judge not, lest ye be judged. 
I didn't want to give them the ointment, but they offered me a pile of groschen. So I thought how desperate they must be, and I heard their plea. Their plea or the clink of their coin? And why are you so worried about them all of a sudden? What changed your mind? I'm losing sleep over it. Firstly, those women don't know what they're doing. And secondly, folk might see it as witchcraft. And do you know what they do to witches? They burn them alive. That they do. So don't be surprised I'm worried. It didn't bother you before, though. What did they want the ointment for? Each one of them lost a loved one recently, and it's grieving them. They wanted to talk with the dead. What kind of ointment? One that I don't... So all the... The ointment... I want to know something else. I've heard enough. If you've heard enough, you must understand why I need your help. Find out from those women what they intend, and watch over them to keep them safe. Very well. But only because the priest himself asked me to. Thank you a thousandfold. I'll go to the reverend myself and explain. You take care of those women. Okay, so first, let's go to this woman. Okay, now I'm gonna save here just in case if something goes wrong. Peter, I'll call the guard. What, what, what the hell are you doing? What is my nourishment? Be quick about it. Be a bit more careful. Come on, let me talk hey. to you. Uh. What's with you? 
Okay, okay, I'm gone. What? I knew it. You, stop right where okay, you are. see you back at this spot. Surrender. Okay, here I am back at this spot. Okay, it looks like everyone is sleeping. So what should I do? I'm just gonna wait. Okay, I guess I'm gonna wait a bit. Can I sleep? All right. For how long? Just the one night. No problem. Here you go. You've got it all to yourself. Where do I go? You'll have no trouble finding it. Right inside the door to the building, there's a ladder up to the loft. Your bed's ready there, and a... God bless.
I heard something about a magic ointment that you got from the herb world. You heard that where? And what business is it of yours? The herb woman sent me. Gertrude? What does she want? Haven't we paid her enough? That's not the point. The ointment's dangerous, and the herb woman doesn't want you getting up to anything foolish. Thanks for the concern, but we're grown women. We're old enough to make our own choices, and what we do in the woods at night is no one's business but ours. Hey! Okay, so she said enough. Oops. God bless. Okay, so let's wait till midnight. Okay, so all three women are on the move.
can set off. Is it far? Not at all. But we should put the ointment on now. It takes a while to start working. Where exactly do you put it on? Well, there. You know. I feel shy. <laughs> so playing games with the devil is all right, but dabbing some ointment on your cunny is going too far. Uh, well, don't peek for a bit. I'm not sure. <sighs> don't worry. Plenty of women have tried it before us. What if it does work? What if he does appear? But that's what we want, isn't it? Let's go. So she's putting a poisonous ointment on her thingy. Man, I feel bad for that lady's husband. Okay, the final lady is walking as well.
Oh man, look at the moon. It's so beautiful. We're here. We all know what to do, don't we? I'm not altogether sure. Gertrude didn't want to say anything about that. So all we know is what we came up with ourselves. Damn. I feel all oh, peculiar, though. The ointment is the main thing, and we'll think up some chant or two. Just let's get it over with, quick. I keep hearing weird noises. When shall we three meet again? In thunder, lightning, or in rain? When the hurly-burly's done? When? When? Damn it! The battle's lost and won. What's that nonsense, you bubbling? I didn't make it up. It came out of me all by itself. My vision's blacking out. And I feel the earth moving. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. We're not doing it for our sake. Our intentions are pure. There's nothing to worry about. Silence. Hush now. Do you hear that? As if someone was singing. That'll be the tree roots. The earth speaks to us. Like Gertrude said. Why is it getting so dark? It's singing very loud. Make them stop. At least for a while, please. My head hurts. Don't be scared. Let it happen. Lucifer, star of the morning. We're here to ask you a boon. What is it? Hail Mary, pray for us. I feel the devil is coming. I'll go toward him. Show him the way to find us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now at the hour of our death. What are you praying to the Virgin Mary? You'll scare the devil away. Stop praying and speaking of death. We are here to save life since we've lost our own. Satan! Appear and send pestilence on all the humans. I'm coming to meet you. Lord of darkness, we are here. Come unto us. Okay, let me save quickly. Lord of darkness, we are here. Come unto us. Who is it? Who's there? Me? Who's me? You're Lucifer, aren't you? Oh, Lucifer. Thank you for heeding our call. Send the plague down on Sigismund and his cumans. It's me, Vera. I mean, I think so. Everything's a muddle. Lucifer, deliver us from the cumans. A plague upon them and their families. Lord God, you turned your back on us in our hour of need. We beg you, at least now command Lucifer to rid us of the cumans. Yes. Lucifer, deliver us of the humans. Here and now, come among us. Take what you want and let Sigismund and the humans die of the plague like mangy dogs. They killed our husbands and children. Let them die. Let them go back whence they came, back to hell. Come, Satan, and take us. Hush now. Do you hear that? There really is somebody in those bushes. Come among us. You there? Are you Lucifer? Doesn't matter who you are. Come here. You dreamt it. Oh, Prince of Exiles, you who the world has treated wrong, who rise again undaunted and strong. Satan, have pity on our endless despair. Stepfather to all exiles fatherless, whom God's wrath drove from Eden in distress, have pity on our endless wretchedness. Exile of Eden, Satan all-powerful, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. You call that? Given call up that? already. Okay, now I'm gonna reload and actually join them while they are chanting to see what's gonna happen. So, see you back at this spot. Okay, here I am back at this spot. Come among us. You there? Are you Lucifer? Doesn't matter who you are. Come here. You dreamt it. Oh, Prince of Exiles, you who the world has treated wrong. Rise again. I hear someone coming. Who's there? Is it you, Kuta? No, I'm still over here. What's going on here? Welcome, Prince of Darkness. And make yourself at home. What would you like us to do? We will fulfill your every wish if you fulfill ours. Prince of Darkness, what in God's name are you babbling about? Why are you testing us? Testing you? Jesus Christ, what have you been smearing on yourselves? A magic ointment? From the herb woman, we are ready to pleasure you, Lord. In return, all we ask is that you rid us of the humans. And if you won't rid us of them, then help us get away from here. Give us riches, so we can start a new life in the city. I'll give you anything you ask. I knew it. Thank you, my Lord. In return, you'll have to... Have to... I feel very weird. Oh, that ointment. You smeared the ointment on me. Fear not, my lord. Nothing will happen to you. It's all part of the ceremony. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What did you do to me? Are you quite well after your long journey? Huh? Long journey? What? From the gates of hell to here. When will you take care of the humans? And why don't you have horns and hooves and a goat's tail, like the priest said? <laughs> I flew in on a tree branch. It took no time at all. Flying on a branch? Will you teach us how to do that too? We are your maid servants now. We'll do anything you wish. I I got rid of my horns and hooves along the way, and uh, I keep my tail in my breeches. I only get it out for special occasions. <laughs> I hope there'll be one soon enough. 
How come you're a talking mare? What mare? Does your sight deceive you? I'm Vera, and I turn many a young man's head in Ujits. Um. Actually, I wanted something else. What's that, O oh Lord? Will you serve me and do all I tell you to? Oh, yes, our Lord of Hellfire. We'll do whatever you want. Just rid us of those wretched cumans. Which one will you take first? Me. Take me. No, me. And what about the other one? Why doesn't she speak up? Kuta, you chicken, speak up. I want you, Mayor. Vera. I knew it. Come on, come closer to me. That was tough. Oh, but I'm all dizzy again. What is wrong with you? Is something going to come of it or not? I need to... to sleep. Bugger sleep! What was that? What is it? Someone coming! Well now, look what's come crawling out from under some rock. I'm going to enjoy this. Lost! Oh. Ah.
fun. You've no business here. Something here? What's that? Be a bit. What part didn't you understand? He's actually working on a fence. Cool. I found out more about the Ujit's witchcraft. Pray, do tell. The women have got hold of some magic lotion from the herb woman, and they're using it to summon the devil. For the love of heaven. I followed them to where they held their Sabbath. They summoned the devil, danced around a fire, Oh my god, what else? The women were completely out of their minds from that ointment. Then some woodcutters stormed in. They wanted to put a stop to the witch's Sabbath. Good god, and what happened? I had to kill the woodcutters to save those women from them. For Christ's sake, how could you? Such needless slaughter. Those men meant well. Was there no other way to stop the bloodshed? The woodcutters were beside themselves with rage, baying for the women's blood. There was no reasoning with them. There must have been another way. I couldn't. I'm so sorry. I can hardly fault you. It's my fault too for letting things slide so far. I should have taken care of the herb women and those poor women myself. Pray for the souls of those unfortunate Christians. Pray, because you have blood on your hands. At least you see where dancing with the devil can take you. Pray for their loved ones and for your soul and mine, because we share the blame. And now please, go. Leave me alone to pray. Hey! I was at the Ujit's women's Sabbath. 
And how did it turn out? The women were making such a ruckus, the woodcutters took them for witches and burst in on them. They meant to kill them. Jesus Christ. And how did it end? I killed them all. Killed them? God Almighty! You killed the men who went to see what all the noise was about? I didn't have much of a choice. There was no talking with them. They were determined to kill the witches. I'm so sorry. Holy Mother of God, you're my witness. I meant no harm. Forgive my sins and have mercy on me in my final hour. And as for you, you'd better go. God bless. I'd like to discuss the price. Well... Are we agreed? Well, I... All right, so... Okay, do we have any more quests here? I guess we don't have any, which means that we're gonna go now to Ratai. I'm glad you stopped by. Okay, so my helmet is not polished. I'm interested. So I wonder if this option will polish my helmet. I'd like um uh I'm sure you'll Welcome, Henry.
Nice! The helmet is polished. And that's not the only thing that was polished. If you know what I mean. Okay, I guess we can check how these two are doing, so let's go there. Got this plan. I've got this plan. You're not averse to a bit of profit. What's it about? I have a wonderful offer for you. The deal of your life. Are you interested? All right. As you wish.
seriously. Why am I flying? Okay, so the game probably thought that I was not unsettled. Still bleeding a bit. I'm gonna have to find some bandages quickly. Christ Almighty, you're bleeding. <laughs> Let's talk about the... Mm -hmm. Since it's... Well... I... Okay, the bleeding has stopped.
I'm interested. And what is it you'd? Ah, uh, I'll certainly need it. I'm sure you're. Okay, so let's check how are these two doing. But we will continue this in the next episode, so if you liked this one give it a like, dislike if you think it sucked and see you next time, thank you.